Cross something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally see money now. What's up everybody, Kevin Van Voris here for another video for you guys today. So let's talk about it, you've seen the title. It's titled ZL1 Exorcist by Hennessy Performance. Uh, they're based out of Texas. Um, they're very well known throughout the United States, especially in the car community. Um, they've done tons of vehicles. And I would say probably two to four years ago is when um, they were really popular. I mean, they're still popular now, but a lot of people just go to Hennessy just because that's the name. But they charge ridiculous, I mean, I'm talking ridiculous amounts of money to fix up your car. Um, and from what I've heard, it's really not even that good. So <laughs> you're paying all this money for, you know, basically a brand name now, and it's really not even as good. When you can spend probably half the amount of money and do the exact same thing that, that they do. It's not like they do anything special. So, uh, this is an article from autoweek.com. Um, it said when the ZL1 oh, was announced a few months ago, it has 650 horsepower, 640 uh, foot-pounds of torque. And then on Tuesday, the Texas Tuner, uh, Hennessy Performance, um, came out with the Exorcist. Oh shit, that's a that's an accident right there. Damn. Um, <laughs> came out with uh, the Exorcist, which is a thousand horsepower, nine hundred and sixty-six pound pound feet of torque, uh, ZL1 upgrade. So equipped with rear drag radials, the Exorcist will deliver a zero to sixty in under three seconds while running the quarter mile in less than ten seconds, and that's what Hennessy said. So um, hold on a second. There's an accident. So. Give me one second. Actually, I'll show you guys real quick. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little, little fender bender. Nothing too crazy, but there were just like two or three cops over there. So, um, it's a well-rounded super muscle car that is just as happy on the road courses on the drag strip. Um top speed is estimated 220 with automatic transmission so the exorcist will set you back 50 55 thousand dollars now mind you <laughs> the price tag for uh the zl1 it says it's set at 63,000, and then there's an optional drag pack uh which does some other stuff but <laughs> uh so they're gonna make a hundred of these so you're basically paying almost what you paid for the car that is so retarded. It, if I put $55,000 into my Hellcat, I don't even want to know how much horsepower I can make. I mean, I, I could probably make, I don't know, 1,500. I mean, just do ridiculous amounts of horsepower. So much horsepower that it doesn't matter what kind of tires you have on it. You might as well be running around with giant slicks. So, um, you know, Hennessy's whole thing, like, I think they used to be cool, you know, again, a few years ago before they got popular and then started like charging out the ass for you know really minor upgrades and to show you guys um, kind of what I'm talking about is let's actually go to HennessyPerformance.com um, and I'm gonna show you guys what it cost to fix up a Hellcat through Hennessy which I'm sure it's gonna be ridiculous so HennessyPerformance.com so let me get this loaded up Okay, so for the Dodge Charger, which is what I drive, Dodge Charger Hellcat, for the HPE 1000 uh, Supercharger upgrade, 
Um, it makes 1,012 horsepower and 969 pound-feet of torque. Includes an upgraded supercharger, blah, 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 blah. What's the price? What's the price? Um, it doesn't even have the price on here. So hold on. Let me look up the price because I bet this thing is just ridiculous. Hold on. Okay, so this is so stupid, so stupid. So this one, um, <laughs> so, so stupid. This one is fifty-five thousand dollars again on top of the, you know, whatever you pay for your Hellcat. So, and we're gonna go back, and it it's not like it, you know, it comes out with like a bunch of special stuff. It like look HPE. Uh, badges. Oh, that's really cool. HPE serial numbered plaque signed by John at Hennessy. HPE serial signed plaque by the technician who installs the car uh, or builds the car. You get premium floor mats. You get a 12,000 mile warranty, which I guess is kind of cool. So, and it's not like it comes with so much stuff like that it come that you should be able to price out $55,000. I mean, that's insane. That is so crazy. Fifty-five thousand dollars just to make a thousand horsepower from Hennessy. I could go to like Tim Barth in Houston, and I think it's like ten to fourteen grand to make a thousand horsepower and be very reliable with somebody who actually tunes Dodge Challengers and Chargers all day long. So that's in, oh God. That is so stupid. Why do people like? I don't give a shit if I was so rich that I didn't give a shit about money. I would not take it to him because that's just insane. How are you gonna charge that much money when it's almost the cost of the car? That that to me is ridiculous. Like you're gonna like at that point, why don't you just buy something else? If you're gonna put fifty five thousand dollars into a vehicle, unless you're making it like a drag car. That's ridiculous. So anyways, let's go back to the topic. So for the ZL1, I'm sure there's guys out there who can do the exact same upgrades and tune it probably better, if not just as well, for at least half the cost. Um, I remember Street Speed 717 did a video about some Corvette upgrade that Hennessy offered, and it, he literally priced it out. It was like twenty, twenty-eight $28,000 or something, and uh, he ended up going through... Uh, was Di Diablo Formula Racing priced it out and it was almost exactly half the cost so it's like where are they getting this extra money like extra charges from just because it's Hennessy like you guys aren't the greatest car comp building uh, performance shop you know in the nation or something like that like where you can charge that that to me is just ridiculous so anyways let's go back to the topic of the Exorcist and this is kind of like I mean, I understand, like, it's a marketing ploy, blah, 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 because now everybody's talking about the exorcist and how it's going to, you know, uh, get rid of the demon or whatever the hell they're saying. So, this is the thing. You know, you only get a 12,000-mile warranty, one-year warranty through uh, Hennessy. So, you're paying, uh, what, a hundred and... We'll just call it 120,000 altogether with taxes and everything, probably. So you're paying 120,000 dollars to have a thousand horsepower Camaro ZL1. Okay, so you get so as soon as you start getting into the engine, all your warranties from Chevy they're gone. So if something happens, uh, maybe the supercharger goes bad or or whatever the hell, or maybe something with the engine or the transmission. Say something goes bad because it is a new transmission, the 10 speed. So say something goes bad. Uh, then what? You're screwed. So you have the warranty through Hennessy, but Hennessy's not going to give you a warranty on the transmission. So, because I, I don't think they're doing any transmission work to the uh, transmission. So, whereas if you buy the Demon, let's say the Demon is the exact same price, right? And maybe it's not a thousand horsepower, maybe it's 850 to 900. Okay, we'll call it that because that's what people are saying. So, <laughs> Let's say that they're the exact same price. You're still, you still get a warranty from Dodge. You still can go up and down the track a thousand times, 
break the drive shaft, fuck up the transmission, blow the supercharger, blow the engine, and guess what? You can take it back to Dodge and they're gonna uh, have your warranty covered for you. That's the difference that, like, it's so stupid. Anybody can put $55,000 in any vehicle. Shit, go buy a Honda Civic, like a EK or an EG, and go put 55000 into one of those. Are you kidding me? Go buy an Evo, put 55000 into one of those. Go buy a uh, GTR, put fifty-five grand into that. Like, anybody can make retarded um, horsepower numbers. Like, anybody can do that. For $55,000, are you kidding me? Holy shit. Like, I'm trying to think in my head, like, what could I even do to this car <laughs> besides a carbon fiber body that would make like it $55,000. Like uh, Whipple supercharger is not even like what that's going to be like five to $7,000 and then uh, upgrades here and there. But it's like, where, where do you get this cost of money? Like I'm going to have to like make another video and like break down what it would cost to make uh, this car at that. You know what that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another video. I'll, I'll put out, I'll put together a list and stuff of what Hennessy provides for a thousand horsepower, and I'm gonna price out what it would cost for, to make a thousand horsepower going through, we'll say Tim Barth or somebody else who's really well known in the Hellcat community. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Would you go out and buy a ZL1 and then drop it off at Hennessy for fifty-five thousand? That's just so stupid saying it out loud. Would you drop it off at Hennessy and give them fifty-five thousand dollars? you know, to make a thousand horsepower, what would you do? I know I sure as hell wouldn't. I don't give a shit. Like, if I'm gonna pay $120,000, why would I Why would I buy a Camaro? No no offense to Camaro owners. Why, why would I buy a Camaro? Or same thing, if I'm gonna buy a uh, Hellcat and then pay $55,000 to make it a thousand horsepower, why would I end up buy a, why would I even buy a Hellcat? Why would I just go buy something else? Because you're starting to get into a different price level. Makes no sense to me. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just think Hennessy is a fucking joke. Like, how ridiculous is that? But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I already told you what I think. Look out for the next video of me pricing out stuff uh, to make this a 1,000 horsepower. My name is Kevin Van Voris. Make sure you guys are following me on all social media, at CaliBoyKev. And um, don't forget, I'll be doing the uh, bunch of demon videos here next week when I get to New York City. And I'll be connecting with SRT Mush, Muscle versus Tuner. And RP Productions. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Check me out on Instagram and Snapchat because I'll be uh, updating that as soon as I get to New York and go through all that stuff for the demon. So make sure you guys are following me. My name is Kevin Van Voris, and I'm out.